Hey everyone. Okay, I'm back. Look at I'm back so quickly too. Okay, I think we're okay here. Um, we are going to use Doodlebug's Lots of Luck. <laughs> so I love Doodlebug and they are amazing. Okay, it is late at night. Cordell just left to go to work. So I am home alone. And Cheyenne had to work till midnight today. And then uh, Tim is at work until, who knows, maybe Sunday. <laughs> so, maybe Sunday. Poor guy. He's already had so many vehicle accidents today. I mean, I don't know if people don't know how to drive today or what. And, and, it's not even raining. So, go figure. But yeah, people don't know how to drive. I mean, you have rollovers and everything. It's kind of weird. So, I'm hoping Cordell will be okay. But yeah, it's... I don't know, is it a full moon? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's get started. So, I am, okay, so this is still February. <laughs> it's so hard to do my R's, it really is, so it kind of sounds weird, but I just can't. <laughs> and, um, but I decorated for St. Patty's Day for my tables because, uh, it was like what the 17th I think it was so it was at the end uh, it was the week of the 22nd because that was my anniversary so it was a Monday so yeah so I decorated um, so because I do a week a week right and so that's what that was I'm gonna put my head in the way sorry let me see and I thought this was so perfect this one was so perfect let's see and um <sighs> What was I saying? Yes, so it's not St. Patty's Day this week, but because I decorate early, I went with it because when else am I gonna be able to use um, the, hold on, let me see guys. I don't mean to be in the way if I am. Okay, there we go. And, uh, yeah, so I, uh, so yeah, so that's why it's showing St. Patty's Day. It's not St. Patty's Day, but it is in my world, so that's okay. <laughs> my world is pretty cool. So, you guys should all join me in my world. Okay. <laughs> so I used this because I was out, I want to take a picture of you. I don't, oh, because it, he was, it was cold in the house, but look at, oh, Grinch, you are my rainbow. <laughs> Because he was freezing in the house and <laughs> because I don't allow anyone to turn on the heater if it is <laughs> 60 because I don't know about you guys but in California our electricity is ridiculous. It could go up to $500 a month in, le in electricity so it's, it all varies and I'm like no. <laughs> No layers guys because you can you can get warm, but you can't get cool, right? And so not unless you go into a bathtub or something, but So I am very a stickler if it's if it is uh, uh, 60 degrees you cannot turn on the on the heater well It was like 60 degrees in the house and he's freezing and I was in my shorts and tank top and <laughs> <laughs> and so I started laughing at because I go, oh my God, are you cold? He goes, I'm freezing. I go, oh my God. I was okay, I gotta take a picture of you all in your, in your, uh, <laughs> in your outfit and uh, his sweatshirt and everything else. And so he gave me a dirty look. And so that's, I was all, oh Grinch. So it was actually kind of perfect. So hey, it worked out perfectly for me. <laughs> so <laughs> with the, with the whole, um, <sighs> finally using that little sentiment it doesn't have things don't have to be for what they're intended you know like Christmas you don't have to do that you don't have to use your stuff like that so this is my tables my St. Patty's that you see you see Dory but this is how they looked in the front doors I covered up a little bit because you're gonna see close-ups right now of it anyways but I had so much fun doing that <laughs> I have really, I really, really, really in, uh, enjoy decorating my tables. It, I don't know. It brings me joy. <laughs> joy, joy, happy, happy. So, yeah, it really does. And they're set for Easter, but I'm going to take down my Easter. That kind of stinky. So I'm going to do a spring one next. And then I made this bow. 
I made the bow for my PL because I love bows and so I have tons of bow dies also but that was so that's the table I had a couple of Guinnesses on there so because it was after the fact after I took the major pictures Tim saw wait you're missing Guinness because you know I take pictures for him because he's out when I do things it's usually he's he's at work um oh hold on guys sorry pages are on in the house because of all the accidents and stuff and uh so the other one's going to be on it's okay you just know where he, everyone's going <laughs> right so it's okay but um that's the other that's the handheld scanner so it's over there in the kitchen so that's what it sounds like that's what our tone out sounds like and um yeah we had a murder yesterday and suicide attempts and it must be a full moon right guys because yeah so suicide attempts um, all that stuff is happening in the last couple of days and it's crazy so yeah hmm but yeah crazy craziness happening super sad but um anyways so um i have i wanted to talk to you guys about oh it's stuck it's it's stucky <laughs> it's stucky on my finger the glue um because let me let me start by saying because i had so many comments on my layout you guys have made my day and you make me want to keep going because your comments are you know just so amazing and they're so appreciative appreciated there we go so this is a family altercation so an assault oh nothing better to do right families can't eat popcorn and watch a movie together but yeah this is the other half of it and um so they um <laughs> commentary it's like watching a movie right with the commentary on that's kind of how the scanner is <laughs> right now <laughs> and uh but anyways i wanted oh because you guys are so great but you guys also asked me some questions and made some statements and i wanted to talk to you about it so i was like okay cool it actually works out it's a twofer um so um let me i'll say thank you to everybody but let me just answer questions right now scrap scrappy lisa Okay, so I wanted to, to to comment on your comments and thank you for leaving me one. And I know you were you like everybody else <laughs> really care about me taking pictures and, and leaving that for my for my family. I will tell you right now that I suffer from depression. I haven't had it. I only I only get it really bad in this stage in my life for the last couple years when the puppies die. And that is when it's no holds barred, I'm I'm done. And so, but for the rest of the time, I'm fine. But I will honestly tell you, when I look at myself in the mirror, I am disappointed. I am disgusted. I don't like the way I look. I am the most obese that I've ever been in my life. And it's, it's not, it's not where I'm, where I want to be, even though I, you know, work my butt off and I try so hard and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because of the, um, autoimmune diseases I have. It's, it's just, it's, it's just not working. It really isn't. I go, I lose five pounds in a week. And if I eat something bad within like an hour, I gain seven pounds back. So it's not, it's not for me. <laughs> I'm trying though, you guys, I seriously am trying, but that is why I will not take pictures because I see myself in those pictures. I've had, you know, um, some people take accidental photos of me and I've seen them and I'm like, it's just, it's sad and it's depressing and it, it, it hurts my heart. 
it hurts me emotionally that I have let myself go so badly and I don't like it and so I'd rather go without pictures and just memories of me um, in your head than actual pictures there's plenty of pictures out there of me you guys honestly there is but they were all we you know when I was younger and not as big as I am now so I just I haven't taken pictures in quite a while but there are pictures they're just probably pre-PL. <laughs> but there's been some pictures that I've posted on here that you guys have seen that um, I have done. But that is why uh, it, you probably won't uh, you probably won't see pictures of me for quite a while because it's not something I enjoy. It's it's just it's just not for me. I just I can't I just can't. And you want to you know even thinking about it now it's like. I, re I really am just so disgusted. I mean, if I could do gastric uh, sleeve right now, I would in a heartbeat. I would do it right now because I, I would love to to not not even be skinny, but just be able to see my feet, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> so yeah, so that would be nice. <laughs> but yeah, I just. Uh, but thank you. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you for leaving me a comment, though. And I understand. I understand where everyone's coming from. And I understand that matters more. You know, it doesn't matter what I look like. Just, you know, that that I have, you know, them for my family. But I am being selfish. I am being completely selfish. And I'm telling you that right now, that I am selfish because I am thinking about my well-being as far as emotionally... Um, I don't want to be in that place. So, yeah. Sucks. Sucks, sucks, sucks. But, yep, it is what it is. Okay, ha, got it. <laughs> that took a long time. <laughs> and, let's see, and so, but, yeah. And then, uh, Cheryl Dudiet, um, you, um, PL groups. Uh, the only group I'm in for um, Project Life is the Project Life Obsessed and that is linked in my description box. So that's where you can find it. If you go to the description box, you should be able to click on it um, and it'll take you right to it. But that's the only one I'm in. I share my hauls and I share, uh, cause I don't do hauls on my YouTube because hauls bring out so much hate in people. Halls bring out a lot of hate in people, a lot of you know jealousy, envy, all the all the Pandora's box of yuckiness, and I just don't want to do that. I mean, I it, it took me a while just to do unboxings because you know um, I just didn't want to deal with with that kind of hate and stuff and that kind of this that negativity. But, um, yeah, so I just show my hauls on the, on the obsessed group and that's fun for me. And it's just, you know, because I know not everybody is like that. Not everybody is, is jealous or envious or anything. There are people who are genuinely happy for other people and that is awesome. But if you guys were all like that and you stayed with me, that would be great. But you have the people who come in and who are not, you know, who are not that nice and not that special so that's who would be the forefront of everything and that's not what I want to see so anyways but I showed that stuff on my on the obsessed group and uh, so that's where you can go if you want to see me <laughs> so I show all my PLs and my hauls and sometimes I do giveaways because um I I like to I like to be able to give back and uh, it's just a little a little you know like you know a little ten dollar gift card or something so it's not like it's you know a hundred dollars worth of good stuff <laughs> it's like ten dollars it's just something little and as a way of just everyone putting up with my haul video or haul pictures and stuff like that so you know it's just fun so i need to give someone an opportunity to get some goodies too if they want so the, tim worked our anniversary and we went to dinner cheyenne and i and the girls we had a girls night so we went out to dinner 
and we got this burger and oh my god it was so like not worth it <laughs> the service was so awful i mean even the cheese is not melted you guys the cheese was not melted the burger was cold the fries were cold and yeah it was just and the service was lousy and it took us an hour literally an hour just to get the food an hour to get the food another hour just to get out of there it was bad and it wasn't even packed they had probably 10 people so it was an experience that i'm like nope <laughs> i'm not going back there for a while so i just i just can't we tried we try and support the, the girls night outs we try and support the local businesses and stuff but that was ridiculous the food was subpar and the service was awful so i'm like we're yeah what what in the world what in the world but eh, whatever so they didn't need our business apparently but yeah um okay and then um uh, oh cheryl also um yeah, she Cheryl also had um, people not show up for her grandson's um, baby shower that same day that the party was our party, our Easter party happened. So we were both in the same boat. <laughs> so it's just so silly. Yeah, people are just so silly. Oh, gosh. But yeah. Not everybody. Okay, of course, you know, not everybody. But, you know. It is what it is. Okay. I love my tear tray. My tear tray is so much. I have two of them in the tables and they're so much fun to do. There's really just a lot of fun. I mean, isn't this layout so fun? I just, I, I'm loving the layouts right now that, that I've been doing because they're just so carefree. They're just me having fun and just plain. And I've been getting way more stuff at Hobby Lobby right now. And I have been, yeah, because, okay, I got to tell you guys, I have been going hog wild with Hobby Lobby. And it's because they're 50% off. They're, I mean, they have 50% off stuff. And Hobby Lobby is kind of weird because, like, Michael's, when the pandemic hit, they they were still open, right? But they raised all of their prices and then got rid of like all the good coupons. So, what you know, which is kind of weird because they were fine during the pandemic, right? Everyone was crafting, doing puzzles, everything, right? Home improvements, just, you know, finding their 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 artists and um but I don't know what they did. I don't know what happened, but yeah, so they stopped doing the coupons, the good coupons, and but the raising of the prices and then having sales, that's what Kohl's does, and I'm like, God, no. So I stopped shopping at Michael's, but I, and I barely, I barely have started shopping, actually, since the Dollar Tree. Um, this is probably the most I've shopped in forever, in <laughs> the last few months, and I'm having fun, but I'll tell you right now that Hobby Lobby is my, like, ugh, my, ouch, take away the credit card, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so because the 50% off coupons and what I've noticed in the last two months is that they didn't raise their prices and I didn't care that they got rid of their 40% off coupon because there's nothing absolutely nothing that I need right away if it's not on sale so and they do they, they did say that they they have good sales so it um they, that's why they abolished it right because it feels like footloose <laughs> but um, because of um their sales were really good and well, that's fine and i'm like this is a craft it's it's a want not a need and so i didn't mind that they got rid of the 40 percent because i just wait so that's what i do is every 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 saturday night like at 10 o'clock 11 o'clock i look at the ads for monday and i'm like Oh, cool okay I'm gonna go check it out so Mondays and Tuesdays I've been pretty much going shopping at Hobby Lobby and it has been a blast so yesterday I went to our hobby we have three in our vicinity which is crazy and uh, I have three within my mom's is an hour away um, I have one in Morgan Hill which is 45 minutes away and one that's 30 minutes away so I mean I have to travel to them all but who cares right and um, isn't that cute? Look at cat. 
So I just thought that was such a cute. See, I love using my stuff. <laughs> and so, anyways, but they're 50, they had the paper studio. They, they have all new stuff, right? And so I was like, okay, well, they have all new stickers. And I really, the, the stickers, they have been, they have been killing it with their stickers because they, they're almost like Jolie's, Jolie's stickers. And that is so cool. And, you know, $2, I'm like, yeah. And then a lot of the stuff you learned, you know, like Dollar Tree, when you see it, you got to buy it right away because chances of them getting it again are kind of like slim. It's not none, but it, well, for Dollar Tree, it's pretty much none. But for Hobby Lobby, it takes a while to get back stuff back in stock and so uh yeah so you grab it kind of right away and so that's what I did and that's what I've been doing and I'm loving it and I honestly I come home and I pop up my I pop open my stuff and I use it I use everything everything <laughs> look at her ears isn't that cute so I use all my stuff I mean I have a lifetime worth of supplies so I don't I you know once my husband retires and we're on a fixed income I'm set. I'm set for life. I can get rid of all my craft groups. I can get rid of, you know, going to go into the stores. I can do all of that because I'm set for life. Really, I am. And that's, that's cool. And I'm okay with that. <coughs> Sorry, I had, had my throat problems. Um, that's what the problem is. <laughs> and plus, I'm talking really fast, too. But, um, whew, I had my ultrasound, my, my, um, my thyroid ultrasound, and, pff, yeah, that's going to be fun. Uh, my, uh, my throat, I guess the goiter's growing, and so it's kind of protruding out of my neck. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, why not? Maybe I'll, you know, put a sticker on it or something, and <laughs> put a bell on it, who knows, but I'm like, okay, so I got to go see an endo, so the lady is, my, um, my doctor is sending me to the endo, and the other one is, like, non-existent, it's the size of a pea, so I'm like, okay, so I have to go see more doctors, fun, 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 it's fine, but yeah, <laughs> I seem to be doing that all, all tonight, huh? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> but it's like reassuring myself. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, gosh, you guys. I, I redid my... I just took a picture last week of my, uh, of my nook and my bedroom nook craft room. And I just redid it again right now. <laughs> I just... Before I started filming, that's what I did. Because I am really, really loving craft purge craft purge on youtube and scrap diva 29 and Chris, christians christians uh crafty adventures and they are so inspiring and <laughs> so i gotta have everything they have <laughs> so that's why all the hobby lobby hauls too and uh and so i redid my room because i i have, i'm just loving doing the three 3d projects i am loving them so much fun who knew I did not. <laughs> so, yeah, super fun. Okay, it's going to be a two part video because I am just jibber jabbering and this is embellished to high heaven. So, yep, it is. And I still got more to do. So, I found this little gnome. It's, a, it's all hanging, a wall hanging, and uh, it was on the outside on top of one of my tables, and it was from Party City. Who knew Party City had cute stuff like this? And it was only like $7.99. It was really cheap. So I was like, oh, that was cool. So my mom got one and I got one. <laughs> so that was, that was cool. We both scored. Oh my goodness, you guys. Mm, it's going to turn off. I forgot to add my stars to this one. So I got to get my stars after the video. That totally scared me because that was right in my ear and it's going to be three stars so yeah three stars maybe three and a half yeah maybe three and a half it was better not still not great but better so maybe we'll leave it two stars because <laughs> the little two stars right there the little ladybug fun so um, i yeah just ugh. 
love peel. I love peel. I am not stopping anytime soon at all because it's amazing. <laughs> it totally is. Okay. So let me say Barbara Hayes. Thank you. And Christina Folk. And thank you. <laughs> Scrappy Lisa. Thank you. And let me put my nine down, but I don't want to do it crooked. There we go. And Cheryl Dudietz. I hope when you said I sent, I did it right, I was like, oh, that's cool. But I was like, oh, I don't go back and watch my videos, so I don't remember how I did it. And then now I was like so self-conscious of getting your name right that I'm like, now I'm afraid I messed it up again. <laughs> I'm afraid that it was a one-time deal. <laughs> so sorry if I did. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Alicia Moore. And Teresa Clary. Thank you so much for leaving me comments. You guys are awesome, awesome, awesome. Did you guys see Disneyland is opening up? So Cheyenne and I have our flights ready for April 30th to go to Disneyland. Well then, I guess they're opening it up to California residents. Finally, there's a perk to being a Californian. <laughs> One perk. And that is that uh, Disneyland is opening to Californians only. And that's cool. Um, that might change, who knows, you know, because everything changes day to day, right? But right now, um, but April 15th, so now we all got to shoot to get tickets. And then I just convinced Timothy. So I told, because, you know, Timothy's very, like, anti-traveling right now because there's nothing open. And it's just not as fun. So why spend so much money when we can't even do half of the stuff that we normally would? And so he's very anti-traveling. And <laughs> only because of that, because nothing's open. And, uh, and so he, uh, I told him, dude, I was like, yeah, but if Disney, well, if Disneyland opens, it's only at 50% capacity. So now is like the perfect time. Now it would be like the, like the 90s. It would be like, see, they're just massively busy. Um, it would be like the 90s back when, you know, you could go, oh, it's Tuesday and mm, no one's usually there on a Tuesday. And, you know, that's how it used to be. But the last few years, like last 10 years, it's it's busy no matter what. There's no there's no getting around it. It's busy. And, uh, and so I told him, we already have our flights. I said, but if we can get tickets to, to the park, if we can get our tickets um, to, for the entrance, and because uh, they no longer do season passes, which is stinky, because <laughs> that's the easiest thing to do, uh, he, he said, I guess I could have turned that down when I went over there. We'll listen. Vomiting and leg spasms. Hmm. That's my life every night. <laughs> so I must be a man. <laughs> so I'm just kidding. <laughs> and uh, um, so, um, so I said, hey, if, if we can get tickets to get into the park, let's go. As you know, Cheyenne, myself, and you. And he's like, okay, he's all let that be our fate. If you can get tickets for inside the park for all three of us, then I'll go. And I said, okay. He says, but if you can't get tickets to go inside the park, you and Shy just go. Because we were only going to go to downtown Disney anyways. Um, so, you know, go have some lunch and dinner and that was it. So, yeah. Okay, what do you guys think? I love it. I love it so, so much. It's so cute, and this is my favorite, the old Grinch. You guys, use your stuff. Use it. Who cares? Who honestly cares? This is your PL. This is your story to tell. You tell it any way you want with any embellishment you want. You can put Christmas in June, <laughs> in April. Who cares? People still have their Christmas trees up and they're decorating them for Easter. So you know what? You do you. Have fun. All right, guys. Love you guys. Take care. I will be back this week, hopefully, because, yeah, who knows when my husband's going to be home. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Take care. Bye.